Wow, it's our 100th video for the Tommy Edison experience. Not a wrinkle in it. <laughs> In the spirit of the channel, I asked you what you'd like to see for the 100th video. And wouldn't you know it, Benjamin O'Connor asked, Why did you start doing these videos? How have they changed your life? And what were some of your favorite videos to do? The channel started in 2011, and it was an offshoot of the Blind Film Critic channel where I was posting movie reviews. And you guys were curious about a lot of things about my life. So rather than answer in text, I thought I'd answer them in videos. You know, questions like, how do you cook food alone? That's all. Uh oh. How do you cross the street? Or even how do I use paper money? I'm gonna say the $50 bill is this one. <laughs> you guys seem to like these videos, so huh, we kept making them. Imagine if I was editing these things. Oh my God, they'd look like this. One of the ways these videos have really changed my life is to find out how curious sighted people really are about the whole blind experience. Me, I had no idea. I mean, it's just my life, right? And you guys are wanting to know all kinds of things about it. That's fascinating to me. And I really learned a lot when I asked sighted people questions and you guys responded in comments, in emails, and you made some incredible videos too trying to explain all these things that I was curious about. For example, I learned that sighted people don't see everything at the same time. You know what I mean? They're not looking at every single thing that's going on around them. That you really can lose stuff. I mean, just the same way I do. <laughs> you just forget where you put something. You don't know where it is and even losing your own car in a parking lot of a mall. So I sort of, I can understand how they can look the same. You got a red Mustang. Look, there's six of them. What are you doing at a car show? No. <laughs> and another way it's affected my life is it's gotten me to embrace my blindness even more than I ever have. I mean, this is stuff I never really talked about until I started talking about it with you in these videos, you know? This is something that as a kid, I didn't really talk about too much and I sort of pushed it aside. And I mean, for God's sakes, look, blind is in my name now. It's the first part of my name. So it's been very cool for me. So my favorite videos, well, color has got to be one of my favorites. I mean, that was a real departure for me because I was trying to explain something that I'd never really explained before, you know? And I was talking about things and trying to let you get inside of my head to see how I experience the world and how I experience, you know, these colors or lack thereof. What blind people fear is another one. I was just watching that this morning and I couldn't believe, you know, how vulnerable I was in that video, talking about being afraid as a little kid and covering my ears. And I'm still scared of Justin Timberlake movies. <laughs> one that a lot of people probably haven't seen is one of my favorites to watch. It makes me laugh every single time. It's old fashioned ball breaking. And all it is, is I just throw an old friend of mine, Tad, under the bus and watch what happens. Yeah. You're gonna have a slice? Yeah, why not? Why I, didn't, I not? didn't think you liked this pizza. Well, <laughs> kills me every time. Can blind people open their eyes? I love that one too. It's a sort of trippy, you know, it's kind of a cross between fireside theater and I'm not even sure why. The comments on that video have been so interesting to me. People say that my eyes are so beautiful when I open them up. Really? Well, thanks. How a blind person experiences VidCon was so much fun to make. And because I showed you a convention with my four senses and really I got to meet so many of you, you know, I mean, We've met through comments before, but to actually meet face to face, tremendous. So um, how'd you know I was here? Um, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, our 100th video. <laughs> it turns out it was a clip show. You know, I didn't notice, but you may have noticed that the picture quality is a little bit different on this video. And that's because, you know, we wanted to do something special for the 100th video. So as it worked out, I'm in Connecticut and Ben is in California. So we're doing it via Skype. I don't want to hear any complaining. I heard some complaining. <laughs>